experience, your job role, you know, at Vodafone? Sure. So I work uh, for the data science team at Vodafone Idea, and uh, you know, I lead verticals in the marketing and sales analytics domain. Right? Mm -hmm. So we have a huge subscriber base, mm -hmm. and you know, we are constantly working on how to reduce churn, how to upsell products to subscribers, how to cross sell, how to recommend the right products how to improve our supply chain uh, dynamics, how to bring in more efficiencies there. Mm -hmm. And the objective of every solution we work on is to improve the organization, mm -hmm. increase efficiency, increase profitability. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So what kind of value do you see you know, when you use uh, data science analytics and AI, you know, uh, especially in telecom? What, what opportunities do you see there? Well, the opportunities are just tremendous in telecom domain, uh, especially because of the amount of data which we have, mm -hmm. right? So, telecom as an industry as such, and you know, especially this organization has huge amounts of data which can be tapped to get you know, undiscovered insights about subscribers. And once you understand those, you'll, we are able to better serve our subscribers. We are able to figure out you know, who's uh, not liking something and why are they not liking it and what can we do to avoid it. Right? If somebody is liking a particular product, right, then what is the next best, most relevant product which we can uh, sell to them. So every project or every initiative uh, we kind of involve ourselves in, we always measure it very, very intricately, right? So that all the efforts actually help the organization and the consumers, right? With a better experience and uh, better overall. Uh, hmm. yeah. yeah. So what are, what are the focus points of your talk here? What would you want the audience to take away from that? Well, uh, the focus points or let's say what the audience uh, could probably look at is uh, you know, every consumer when we talk about the more and more we learn about every consumer mm. the better we understand on how to serve them the best right if let's say we use very few uh, data points to understand a consumer we'll have a very very uh, myopic view right but what data science or machine learning helps us to do is you know really understand subscribers at an individual level or at a micro segment level and look at hundreds of features about them so that we get a more holistic view about them. And that's what machine learning or data science helps you do. I mean, if you were to use plain vanilla tools or let's say the usual ways of doing business, right, there's only so much which can be done. But with scalable solutions and data scientists on board, there is, a much, there is much more that can be done. Mm. What, what advice would you have for you know, other organizations who are willing to, you know, for, who want to adopt uh, data science and analytics in their in their processes. Sure. So, uh, I mean, what I can share from my own experience mm. is that in today's world, where you know a lot of data science solutions are open source, where they are freely mm. available, right? So, of course, uh, a great data. I mean, if you are looking to set up your own data science team, it's imperative to have the statistics and machine learning understanding. But two or three more imperative things which should be there once is great understanding of the data itself of the specific domain you're working with right so it's imperative that we understand enough about what is being modeled and what is uh, to be understood mm. that's one uh, second is uh, bringing about effective change management especially for mid to large size organizations which are let's say uh, 20 25 50 years old right to help them change the way they are working on mm. right now right slow gradual but consistent efforts have to be made right so that people start adopting and people are empowered themselves uh, using ai and ml tools mm. so what is your roadmap for 2020 how what trends do you see for the next year in terms of technology innovation uh, well that's an interesting one so a lot of uh, tools and techniques today are already there mm. right what i see going ahead in the next one year is more and more let's say non-data scientists hmm. start using uh, data science tools, right? So data science will not be restricted to a few individuals or let's say to a few uh, boxes or to a few machines, right? But I'm sure whether it's through cloud computing or it's through any other means, uh, more and more individuals in the organizations will be empowered in some way or the other, right? Organizations will figure out themselves how to do it to take more meaningful and data-driven decisions. Hmm. So how has been your experience here at Cypher? Oh, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. I've met uh, so many exciting people from the industry who, you know, 
you don't get to meet when you work on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, the, 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 the entire conference has also been designed wonderfully, right? And the cohort of people, the organizers, they are all top-notch. So for me, it's a great learning experience and a great place where I could also share my own learnings with, um, you know, from peers in my industry. Thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you so much. Great being here.